Hey guys, what's happening? It's Neil with Real Deal Fishing here and welcome back to the channel. I'm actually here on June 6th, D-Day. As a military veteran, I salute the, all the uh, veterans who have served many, many years ago and those who are currently serving. And uh, my hat's off to you guys for keeping us all safe every day. Uh, but I'm here at a uh, small lake. I won't disclose it here in the description uh, just because it's kind of a big bass factory. It's kind of a small lake and a lot of pressure gets on this lake and when it does a lot of the fish get turned off but uh, if you guys know it from behind me you probably recognize it if you're here from the area if not uh, we're real close to the Kissimmee chain of lakes it has the same sort of uh, bass in it same sort of genetics and uh, there's actually been a few state records uh, come out of this lake here but um, anyway I am actually here on the water today we finally got some rain here in central Florida We've been gone months and months without it, and today is the first day where I got a little break in the weather. It's uh, about 9 o'clock in the morning right now. I wanted to get out a little earlier than this, but um, because it was raining, I saw the weather forecast, I decided just to kind of hold off and see what the day would do. There's a little window here, so I think I'm going to go try and smash them today. Stay with me. Today, and uh, you know, it's a little bit later than I really wanted to get out here. But uh, the sun's still not out. I got cloud cover and it's supposed to stay there pretty much all day. And uh, so hopefully I'm going to smack them. But one of the things I want you guys to think about when you come out here, especially first time in a lake, is get a bait that you can fish. Oh, yeah. Right there we go, boys. Woo! I'm going to smash them today. That's the third cast today. She's not big, but she's a start. I caught it right out there in the isolated pads. I got tons of them. It's my third or fourth cast of the day. I've just started fishing, and uh, I think we're gonna be in for it. Here we go. All right, guys and gals, for all you military veterans out there, I'm gonna give you guys a great tip here, and something that you guys, I'm sure, will be able to relate to. And that is keep your head on a swivel. You know, when I was in the military, danger come from, could come from all sides. And uh, one of the big things that they taught us was always kind of keep your head in the swivel and just look to your front, your left, your right, your rear. Well, we're not really, hopefully, we're not out here going to be dangerous. We're not worried about any danger here on the lake. But um, the same rule kind of still applies. If you're fishing along through some place, you definitely want to be just kind of aware and cognizant of everything that's happening around you. Listen to the frogs. Watch the birds. Hear the bluegill popping. Watch diving birds in the air. All those little subtleties, um, current, all the little things that you just kind of pick up on as you're moving through an area that just kind of help you key in those tiny little details It's just going to help you catch more fish. So if you watch me throughout my videos, if you watch any of the, the good Hammers on the lakes, they're always they're always looking around. They're a lot of times not even looking at their bait. They know what it's doing, but uh, they're just always kind of looking around, looking for that next cast, looking for that next little clue. And uh, keep your head in the swivel, and I can guarantee that'll help you out next time you're on the lake. So, all right, guys, what's happening? I'm going to try to keep the camera straight here. As you can see behind me, it's about the rain. Uh, I only got a few hours of fishing in today. The rain came here a lot sooner than I thought. The wind's really picked up. It's about probably blowing 20 to 30 uh, gusts. And uh, if I don't get off the water here, I'm gonna get soaking wet. But I wanted to say thank you very much for uh, following the channel, watching the videos. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button below. And uh, follow me at, on Twitter, at Real Deal Fishing. And stay tuned for my website. I'm gonna have it up within the next week or so. It's gonna be realdealfishing.com. I'll have a few tackle tips there, uh, up and coming events around the Central Florida area, and just some cool and fun stuff to check out. So anyway, thank you guys very much. Until next time, tight lines.
soaking wet.